Here's another car stereo. Um, this one, on first glance, just looks like a very generic, um, even aftermarket type car stereo. But if you look at it real closely, you'll find out that it is not. Number one, we got a face design up here. Um, and yes, the CD is very scratched, that's why it's skipping. Um, but anyway, uh, it is a it's a Panasonic, and you might be thinking, where did this come from? Well. Unlike the Honda car stereo, which I actually pulled out of a, um, a Honda car that my family owns, this one actually came out of a car I didn't do, do not own. I've never seen the car before. Um, and basically, what happened was I found the dump. It was sitting on top of on, on top of all the stuff. I glanced up and I saw the knobs. Uh, and I thought, huh, that almost looks like an aftermarket stereo. I grabbed it, re really quickly realizing it was not an aftermarket stereo, and took it anyway. <laughs> Uh, one of the things that I took it for was it sees up here a 6 CD changer. Now I've always wanted to know how these really tiny CD changers work. Um, number two, it has a VFD display, um, which usually indicates higher quality components. So now I have 6 CDs in there. Let's go back to CD1, and I'll pull the top off and we'll see how this works. And I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to pull the top right off. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, there's the CD you can see spinning in there. Let's go to CD number two, watch this. Where'd that play mechanism go? Okay, so puts that on that shelf there, brings it up, pulls CD two in, and the play mechanism actually flies in there. And I'll start playing it, and I'll show you later how that all works. I might have to use my phone, because I can't, I don't, I can't fit my big camera in there. But anyways, you can see that is pushed in. Let's go over to CD six, and we'll see how it stores all the CDs. So as you can see, this goes up, moves up to the top, which just fits. It pulls the CD in down there. You can sort of see it down there. It's a it's a clear CD, so it's kind of hard to reflex. And let's go back to CD one. She pulls it all down, and you can watch the mechanism work now. Pulls that in. Boom! That comes into place. You can even notice those little marks on it to hold the CD in place, so I can actually play this thing upside down, which I think is pretty cool. Um, which will be. So let me actually show you how that works again. Then I'll fly out over, okay, so watch. The magazine comes flying into place and starts spinning like this. I, I, I must, I am, um, to borrow a line from New York City, be able easily amused, but I think that's really, really cool. <laughs> I could just watch the thing do that for hours. Isn't that so cool though? Okay, let's just do it one more time. Okay, let's eject CD number two. I mean, number one, sorry. And out that comes. Okay, we'll play CD number two. Yep, then I can fly right in, and it'll spin up the disc, and it'll start playing it. And I'm also amazed at how quick these um, car CD players load. It takes them like four seconds, and compared to a CD, the home CD player, that, that's pretty impressive. Let's inject. Let, let's inject this CD. And this CD. I'll probably speed this up in the actual video because you're not going to want to watch all this. And this Blu-ray disc. And this last CD here. Oh, whoops, there's one more. Well, let's do CD number six and see what happens. Pulls it in, play magnet comes into place. You can sort of see through this disc. So watch. You can sort of see where I put that. Let's eject the disc. Okay. Now. You can sort of see in there where, uh, let me get a flashlight for you actually. Let 
Okay. You can sort of see that the CD mechanism is all the way over there, and that flips out. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can't flip that out by hand. But anyway, that flips out, and that'll start, that'll grasp and start playing the disc. Over here, move that flashlight. You can see where the discs are stored. There's like a magazine in there. Um, now, unfortunately, like I said, I cannot put a disc in there while um, the top's off because it uses an optical sensor to tell if a disc's there. I'll show you what happens if I try loading a disc. So he just pu pushes it right back out and gets real mad. And that's because I think it's the optical sensor. Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, right there it is. See, right there? That's the optical sensor. And that'll sense if a disc's there or not. And uh, if I cover put my hand right there, it should be able to pull it in. Let's check. I'm going to have to leave my hand free for this. So I'll put the camera right there. And boom. It works. So, obviously... You can sort of see with this, this disc. Sort of see how it's working here. Boom. It's really, really cool. So yeah, that is how that works. Yeah.